Saints, there's something I wanted to reveal to you that may be of interest. A few things. This centers about demonic gateways. I've explained to you before what are demonic gateways that a demon can enter a host, meaning a human being. You know, legal rights. What are those particular gateways? There are also gateways that they seek to enter the physical realm. Now, as you know, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ told me that one of the purposes of the CERN project, and I've warned you about this before, is that they are trying, the government's trying to harness demonic energies. What they're trying to do is they're trying, trying to put a rift in time, in the space continuum, meaning that they want to open up doors that are meant to be closed by God. They want to open up doors into the unseen world, the spirit realm, okay, so they can harness these demonic energies. Now, with these experiments that they're doing, they're messing with stuff that is that is beyond men's understanding. God closed those doors for a reason. God warns of these gateways in the book of Revelation. God warns of the spirit realm of the veil that covers between the physical and the spirit in the book of Isaiah. God has the keys to all realms, all heavenly realms, okay? And God closed off the ungodly heavenly realms. The ungodly, I'm going to say that, unheavenly, ungodly realms that are counterfeit to heaven. God closed them off for a reason. It's where these demonic beings roam. And they, oh, I'm sorry, roam. And they're trying to open these, these portals up. Lord told me that they've made several attempts. I don't remember if you've seen um, Fox 5 not too long ago. I'm going to see if I have... If I can show you that, just hang on one second. Okay, um... I hope I can find it, but I don't know if you remember not too long ago, there was a broadcast. Fox 5 News. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Hold on. Anyway, there was a, I mean, on Fox 5 News, there was a broadcast where a portal opened right above the Vatican. And um, there's other incidents where, if you can see this article, there's black smoke portals opening in skies all over the world, 2015. Lord told me that's a result of CERN because they are trying... This talks about CERN too. Okay, for those who think that they think there are sinister forces that may be opening your eyes and take an honest assessment of the world affairs. See, things are not exactly hunky dory. Black portals opening in the sky. You see that? That's not fake, ladies and gentlemen. I saw those black portals in my state. That's not fake. Okay, so before I get into showing you the video clip on this, they're trying to open demonic doorways that they have no understanding of. And I'm going to take you to scripture that tells you about um, these gateways. What, what chapter is it in Isaiah? Isaiah chapter 35. Remember what verse? Okay. 
And in the book of Revelation, the one that talks about the creatures coming out of the earth, that's a gate opening up too. Okay, I'm taking you to the book of Isaiah. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then shall the lame man leap as in heart, and the tongue of the dumb sing, for the wilderness of the waters break out, and streams in the desert. Wilderness of the waters break out. Okay, this is telling you, ladies and gentlemen, and the parched ground shall become a pool, and the thirsty land springs of water, and the habitation of dragons, where each day shall be the grass with the needs and the rushes. And in highways shall there be, and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. Okay? But it shall be for those the wave spring, though fools shall not err therein. This is talking about, ladies and gentlemen, a clean area. This is talking about, just as there's just ungodly dimensions there are godly a passageway for the holy for the righteous okay if we go farther up i know this is talking about lebanon and everything like that the scripture but the scripture is also telling you giving you a deep understanding of the spirit realms as well it's just telling you about the veil between the unholy and the holy okay if you look, a highway shall be there, and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. That's the separation between the spirit realms and the physical realms. And, of course, the ungodly and the godly. So, there are, the demonic gateways I wanted to tell you about is that... The best way for a demon to get into this world, the Genesis chapter 6 says that one of the gateways is through possession. A human body is one way. Another way is taking physical form. That's another way demons can manifest and they can exist on this plane. But it takes a lot of power for them to do that. Demons do deplete in energy and power. They can only remain physical and corporeal in this realm for a certain amount of time before they start to weaken. Now, I know you're saying all oh, the eternal beings, they're immortal, they don't die. They do die because God can destroy them. Let's just make that clear. But these beings, if they stay too physical in this realm, too corporeal, because they're not physical beings... They will weaken because it takes a lot of energy, a lot of power to remain physical in this world. That's why it's much easier for a demon to take on a human host in order to come into this realm. Because they don't have to it take too much power and energy because there's already a physical body present, which is a human host. The demon himself, like I said, if they, if they come into this realm... They have to take on a lot of energy and power to remain physical, to remain in the physical realm. That's why most of the times they remain in the spirit and they only physically manifest if they have to, if they feel that they have to. Um, I just wanted to get that out there to you guys right now so you guys know. Now, I'm trying to find a scripture that talks about the veil in the book of Isaiah. I think it's Isaiah 19. Um... I know the book of Revelation talks about the veil, remember? Yes. The book of Revelation talks about the veils being broken down and this, those creatures come out of the earth. That means people think, oh, there's going to creatures come out of the earth. What that means is that the spiritual realms are going to be broken completely down between the physical and the spirit that the ungodly beings <clears throat> will be able to enter into this physical plane of existence. What else did I want to tell you guys? Um, the veil, and behold, the veil was a temple was rent in twain in the top as as in the book of Matthew. Well, 
which we hope we have an anchor of the soul. This anchor is God. God is our anchor, both sure and steadfast, and which entereth into that within the veil. Hebrews 6, 19. God is the anchor of the soul. God is the anchor, period. God is the anchor that keeps us in this realm. Okay, he keeps our spirits grounded in this realm for the righteous. God watches over good and evil. Okay, um, the spiritual realms are going to be broken down according to the book of Revelation. What mankind is trying to do is that they're trying to escalate that process. They're trying with this CERN to break down the spiritual realms. I told you, there's one another gateway that a demon could enter through. You might be like, what? And I've seen it happen. It's through water. Water meaning that there are marine spirits that use ungodly water as a passage into this realm. That's common in the occult. That's common in witchcraft. That's common in voodoo. Marine spirits would use ungodly water. It has to be unclean water. And what's to pass through between this realm and the spirit realm. And they also use human bodies as a conduit. Another gateway in which to get into this physical realm. Now, I want to show you this video that talks about the black portals in the sky because that's what they're doing right now. And they don't care. You understand me, guys? They don't care. The government is... Uh, Using CERN to open up these black portals. Just, of course, the video has been deleted. I'm not surprised if you see this one. One second, guys. So I'm going to show you, like I said, this link. You can look it up for yourself. Um, no, not that link. I'm not into games, you guys. I don't even care about games. I don't even care about games. I don't even care about games at all, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, I'm going to let you look at this link. You can look at the videos at your own leisure. I'm trying to get into it now. But somebody made a video about it, how they had, um, see the black portals? Look at that. That's... What you see there, that is the spirit realm and the physical. That's what's talked about in the Bible, and they're trying to break that apart. Just so you all understand. Okay? And, um... What else can I tell you guys? Good morning, and welcome... So, I'm gonna let you check that article out on your own. But just so you know, that's exactly what CERN is trying to do. CERN is trying to open up portals to, to allow the entrance of interdimensional beings. They're going to sit there and tell you, oh, we're trying to explore alien life. We're trying to do this. We're trying to do that. They're not trying to do anything like that. It's not about alien life. It's not about none of that. What they're basically trying to do is they're trying to open up these demonic doorways, these demonic gateways. They don't know what they're messing with. Bible warns of this. Okay, I'm going to try to find the scripture regarding the creatures that come out.
believe it's Revelation chapter 13. And I stood upon the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea. So that talks about Satan. Okay. The rise of the Antichrist. The beast system. Okay. Basically, the one world order. Okay. And it also prophesies the great war. Here's Revelation chapter 9, verse 3. I'm almost done wrapping this up, ladies and gentlemen. Revelation chapter 9, verse 3. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, and the scorpions of the earth have power. Um, second, let's take a look here. Ezekiel 2, 2, 6. And you, the son of man, do not be afraid of them. Of the words, do not be afraid. The bear, briars and thorns are all around you. And you live among scorpions. Do not be afraid of what they say or be terrified by men, though they are rebellious people. Um, Lord says that he'll give you the ability to trample on scorpions, okay, and serpents. He's talking about spiritual warfare. Not just plagues. He's talking about spiritual warfare. The Lord's warning you. The Lord is warning in the book of Revelation how... Um, in Revelation chapter 9, verse 10, it says they had tails with stingers like, stor like scorpions. And in their tails, they had powers to torment people for five months. The Lord's talking about how he is going to step in and completely break down the spiritual and physical realms. Okay? That's what the Lord is saying. That's Bible prophecy. God closed those doors a long time ago for a reason. To protect mankind. Demons are always looking for a way to get into this realm. One of the ways I wanted to get into this realm was to mingle with the seeds of man. Remember the, the uh, fallen ones? Yeah. Okay. How they bred a, a race of ungodly giants. In Genesis chapter 6, it warns how demons take physical form. Um, that's another way that they try to enter into this realm. One of the most common ways that they will enter into this realm is through either possessing a person. They could possess animals. They can even, even possess objects. Objects meaning cursed objects. Okay? As a way to get into the physical realm. They're still looking for a way to get in. These demons wait hours outside the veils of the physical. They're waiting now. The moment the realms are broken down, they are going to parade all over this realm. CERN is trying to accelerate that process, but CERN is not God. God is saying to CERN that every attempt you make, you're going to fail. You're not going to be able to break down the spirit realms. What's going to happen is that each time you try to break down the spirit realms, you try to mess with the rifts in time. There's going to be a consequence. You are not going to open any demonic doorways. The only demonic doorways that will be open are going to be the most dangerous to you. And that's where the consequence is going to come into play. The spirit realms and the physical realms will be broken down in God's time. It's Bible prophecy, ladies and gentlemen. But CERN is a very dangerous project. And one day... They're going to open a door that they're going to wish that they close. And that door is going to be one of the most dangerous doors that th they ever open. And they will remember the day when they tried to play God. But these aren't gods, ladies and gentlemen. They are just men. The only living God is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ holds the cards in his hands. He has control over everything. CERN is going to be a miserable failure. This I prophesy to you. And it's going to be a miserable failure with catastrophic consequences and losses.